hello guys how are you so today we're gonna see how we can do sorting via drag and drop so it's super easy it seems like it's hard but uh, throughout the time we think that it's really hard but it's super easy and i'm super excited to show this to you guys okay so let's get started what i've done is i have created a task list where I, we can create tasks we can mark this as complete we can delete it and uh, I have uh, this is the model where we have the name position and completed and this is the uh, I have seeded five data with the position it's uh, um, the component it's order by position so it's showing like this way so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add sorting and I'm gonna use this plugin alpine sort which is my current favorite and we're gonna install this plugin we have another plugin live sortable but uh, this one is better so I'm gonna pull out the terminal and install it nice and now we have to do this but we cannot do this like this way because we, as we are using liveware we have to use liveware alpine i we have to do it in a liveware way so this is the code let me take it and we have to give this on app.js so we cannot take alpine uh, from uh, like we cannot take alpine from alpine just like this uh, rather than we have to do this like this way so that uh, our plugin is initialized by liveware uh, okay so we come to here again on alpine js page and we import this sort and we initialize it before liveware start and we are done and now let us start the magical part now uh, how we will implement the sorting mechanism and uh, it's super super easy on the parent element we have to write x sort and on the child elements which will be dragged which is the allies it will be x sort item and we are done refresh and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it a bit larger XR now we can just drag and drop so easily and so smoothly the transition is really really smooth and this is really really awesome we can do a drag and drop top to bottom bottom to top how much we want but the main problem is if you refresh it goes back to the normal position because we didn't save anything on the database we have to change the value on the database too but nevertheless we are we have added the drag and drop feature which is awesome so on the next video we're gonna sh i'm gonna show you how we can update this position uh, by using this plugin thank you